And back live from the virtual Long Beach Grand Prix circuit on Racebot TV for our continuing coverage of the Jim Beaver Esports Fistful of Urban Pro 2 Showdown. This is a great way, I think, to close out what's been a great year of racing with five spots on the line for that 2021 World Cup, which arguably may be the bigger story than the race win here tonight. Yeah, you know, we've got some big stuff coming with that World Cup. Uh, a lot of drivers want to guarantee them spots into an invitation only event. We've got some massive news coming in the coming weeks in regards to that World Cup that'll be held in January at some point. Uh, there's a lot still on the line, but to, like you said, the big thing is there's five spots up for grabs for the drivers not already qualified into the Jim B. Green Sports TV Short Course World Cup 2021 edition. And we're ready to do it. Let's go trackside and take a look at our Fistful of Bourbon starting grid. And it is with a twist. So the top six will have an invert, but it is James Ambrosius starting this one. Therefore, from the top alongside Bobby Rafferty in the number two position. Another Fistful of Bourbon entry for Brandon Proudfoot in third. And the Williams Esports entry of Josh Fox is fourth. Yeah, we've got Connor Parise in the fifth spot, Bobby St. Jr., uh, who is our fastest driver all the way back there in the sixth spot, Joe Lusk and Andrew Tropiano in the eighth spot. Continue it on through Josh Edmondson and Connor Martell going to make up row number five. It'll be ninth and tenth. Joshua Gaiman starts in 11th with Gary Green starting from P12. And it's going to be Connor Barry, Matt Everhart. i got to give a little side shout-out to Matt Everhart. He does a lot of things behind the scenes for not only our team, but uh, the sim racing community. Uh, Matt Everhart there in the 14th spot. Great to see him getting some fun behind the wheel. we got Luke Knupp and Mason Prater in the 15th and 16th spot. And then still on through the field, Ronnie Anderson, 17th position with Roland Johns at 18th. Uh, through the LCQ transferees, what a challenge in front of Cam Peterson, who will start from 19th position, and then Sean Stratton rounds out the top 20. Yeah, then we've got the legend, Ron Caps in the 21st spot, Mikey Lawrence, trophy truck driver in the 22nd, Zachary Drapkin in 23rd, and Dave Bodio in the 24th spot. And that is a look top to bottom at your fistful of bourbon starting grid. So again, a little bit different than what we saw earlier. We are nearly double the distance from six laps long to 10 laps long. Um, so it is going to be uh, a little bit more of an endurance one, plus twice as many trucks. I uh, hope that you're enjoying the action here on Racebot TV. P20, the truck temp is 93 Fahrenheit. We're looking forward to a really exciting and fun race. Uh, like I keep saying all night, uh, let's keep this first lap as clean as possible. We've got way more trucks on the track than we ever have the rest of this uh, event. And as any of you who have done Rallycross knows, that can be a little chaotic. The pace car down and in. It'll be James Ambrosius from the front row of the grid. As we say, let's go feature race racing. Uh, so let's try to keep it as clean as we can and not end anybody's racing turn one. From Long Beach, this is the Fistful of Urban Pro 2 Showdown. A lot of Fistful of Urban trucks mixed in. Those general tires as we head down here into turn number one. How wide are we going to try and go through this corner of it? Right side. Car right. Keep it steady. So far, just two. Let's see how it goes. Contact for the lead. The seven into the wall. It's Ambrosius to the point. So far, okay. Second place goes to Proudfoot. Third is Bobby Rafferty. No regard for the landscaping, but I think we made it. Clear to the right. Car right. Hold your line. Clear to the right. On your right. Clear. Clear to the right. Sorry about right that. Side. Clear right. 
forward. Far right. Clear right. I think you made it, but the gardener's not going to be happy. Let's put it that way. There was a lot of flowers picking off in that, but uh, a whole lot cleaner than I thought we were going to see, Evan. What a what a great start to this race. And look at that mid-pack. I mean, there is no space back there in traffic. Here's a hard drive down and into the corner. And one truck off and into the fence that time. And off in the tires, that was the 58 truck, I think it was, of uh, maybe Barry or somebody else. Though Josh Edmondson was the one who lost out big by getting into the tires. That's the blue 528 that I'm looking at there of Connor Barry. You can tell the difference from 10 trucks at the LCQ to 24 in the main side-by-side. -side. Third and fourth, Parise trying to make the pass on Bobby Rafferty. Right side, yellow flag, caution, still there. Third to the right. Car right, hold your line, or your right. We saw Parise and Rafferty in the uh, uh, in their heat race battle all the way to the end, and we're seeing it again here. Those two just like magnets here at Long Beach as we got one of them turned around. That is the number 41 truck that got uh, spun around. Clear left, on your left. Clear on the left. Then we need to get to there, Connor. On your left. Clear left. Seriously. Left side. That is Andy Trump. Oh, Caps. Ron Caps is upside down in the hairpin. Trippiano, as you mentioned, was the first truck to go around. That hairpin is tough in a sports car, man, but it is even tougher in a Pro 2 truck. Let's see what happened here. Trippiano was in a pretty good spot, but had a little bit of help. So they kind of stacked up ahead of him, and then the 21 of Connor Martell turned him. But what happened to Caps on board with him? And... He just kind of got shoved over by the truck behind him. Yeah, that was just a nothing. That wasn't Cap's fault at all. Yeah, that was just a nothing. That wasn't Cap's fault at all. Just wrong place at the wrong time. And, uh, you know, kind of just a pure racing incident, you know. Car one. Still there. Clear left. On your left. Clear on the left. Side. You didn't as much get Connor as you ended up parking me in the wall, Josh, but that's racing, man. It is what it is. We'll keep going. The Reviewing the hairpin. Uh, you know, poor guy had a great run through that LCQ, qualified in, and, uh, you know, definitely a tough break for him to, uh, uh, you know, get rolled over here on the first lap here, but uh, lots of time to battle back. Uh, 10 laps here at Long Beach, especially the pro truck, uh, gives us a lot of opportunity to uh, see these guys come from behind. Uh, so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens here with Ron Caps.
flight. Full July. Clear right. Through the rest of the top five, there's a good battle for second. Fox has got it. Parise wants it. There's Bobby Rafferty a little bit too deep. He's into the tires, and he'll throw away P5 as everybody passes him in turn one. Yeah, I don't know what happened there with Rafferty. As we're going to get a glimpse here, but it uh, looks like almost just a brain fade. Just drove it in too hot, and uh, the truck didn't rotate. It looked like, you know, a lot of these guys with a Pro 2 to get them to rotate, you got to slide. It looks like he just couldn't get the rear of that truck to break loose, Evan. He turned it in like it was going to slide into the corner, but you're right, the back end of the truck just never broke loose, and instead, he just skidded right off it into the tires. Yellow flag, watch out. We got through that one, huh, Josh? Left side, clear to the left. On your left, clear on the left. Left side, clear left. You know, that being said, you know, these guys sitting there third, fourth, fifth, sixth place, the guys you mentioned earlier that were actually faster than our leaders, you know, they want to see a battle for the lead. Because anytime you lead trucks are battling, that means you've got room to make up ground. And, uh, you know, now with Proudfoot out front, if there's not much of a battle, it's going to be tougher for those guys to make up ground. Full running order, left-hand side of your screen. There has been a five-second penalty assessed to Connor Martell, so that's going to affect him on his finishing position. But not at least in contention at the moment in the fight for the race win. On your left. Clear left. On your left. Clear to the left. Sorry, Mike. Yeah, you're looking through the wall there. Looks like the clouds are starting to set in here, too, and uh, it's starting to get dark. Maybe visibility uh, is going to start to come in. We're working into about 5 o'clock, 5.15 p.m. in sim time. Uh, you know, iRacing is all about the uh, dynamic weather, and, and that affects track conditions and track temperatures and whatnot. So all of those are factors that the track has maybe changed just a little bit from the start of the night. More rubber has been put down, obviously, with the dozens and dozens of laps that all these trucks have done. 
All right, Sean, the next car is Edmondson. Two laps to go this time. Parise no longer closed it in. Brandon Proudfoot may be on cruise control. You watch the battles from behind. The popsicle sinks in the air and a touch. That's Fox who's oh. into the tires. The battle went on so long clean. And that time there was a touch into turn number one. Sant laid on the brakes. Fox unable to recover. Let's take a second look. They come in and sand on the brakes and uh you know that that wasn't a malicious tap by any means that was just that was just a racing incident there what a what a tough tough break for josh fox and uh, man what one of the top guys in the sport he's run strong here uh you hate to see uh you know him you know miss out and end up in the tire barrier like that but uh, wow yeah that was uh that was very unexpected good consistency is Anderson. Come here, Ronnie Anderson. Razor Ronnie. You need to adjust my brake bias, but I don't know how. Got too much rear brake. Oh, I like that. That feels good. Tires left. Okay, Sean, push now. We can catch up here. Brilliant. Nice one. B13. One more to go. The lap time was at 134.9. Oh, that's good. Well, the bourbon top five, I'll take it. Dang it. Good race, guys. I was able to be a part of it. Thirteenth place. Okay, that's the finish. Well done, mate.
Thanks, guys. Obviously, there's a lot to look at from a race like that, and I got as much live as I could. I will go through things later tonight and review the um, review the finishing order and any rapid, massive changes in what um, position somebody's in from lap to lap to make sure we don't miss anything. Um, but tentatively, uh, I am reviewing right now to make sure that we know the five who are going to move on. The ultimate goal here tonight, Jim, was for those drivers that weren't already qualified into the World Cup. Our top five finishers tonight that weren't already locked in going to receive an invite, and that'll get us to that 20 truck number to be locked in for January's main event. Yeah, we've got that main event in January, so the top 20 are going to be pre-locked in. We do have uh, a few promoters' options. I, I, I hear a few uh, few uh, names floating around that might be coming back. I'll, I'll let the cat out of it a little bit, but it sounds like Mr. Travis Pastrana will be back for that World Cup. Uh, text with him earlier today, so that's uh, always exciting to see uh, Pastrana, you know, on, on anything I racing. So we got quite a few drivers, I think, that are, are going to be, uh, you know, trying to come back for that. But uh, yeah, five is now solidified in for this World Cup. Like I said before, we've got some massive announcements to make here in the next week. We're going to do something that's never been done with short course on iRacing, and uh, iRacing's got our back on it. We've had multiple meetings with them, um, and uh, this is this is going to be big. We've, we've got something really big up our sleeves, and uh, I can't wait to let the cat out of the bag. Let's take a look at these full race results. It is Proudfoot, Parise, and Lusk on the podium here tonight from Long Beach, but that doesn't mean everybody can't celebrate. I see Josh of a game in P6 tonight. He's celebrating at the likes of Gary Green, Bobby Rafferty, Josh Fox, and Dave Bodio, the top 10 in the main event. Yeah, we got Josh Edmondson, Stratton, Ronnie Anderson. Uh, he had uh, some really good runs and, and fell back in that main event. Uh, Trumpiano, I uh, saw him out front at times. Uh, Roland Johns, Drapkin, Matt Everhart, Bobby Sant Jr., Prater, and No. Uh, and then at the very back of this one, uh, uh, you know, you talk about Connor Barry, Mikey Lawrence, and it's Martell and Caps. Caps on his lid uh, at the end of lap number one, the drivers who don't make it the full distance, but uh, they both got back out there and finished this race. So uh, kudos to everybody, not only for participating in this one, uh, but for putting on a great show in tonight's main event. The sun is so bad. I fully agree. The glare yeah. right now is insane. You know, yeah. maybe we do like a um, like a sunset. Sunset. Yeah, cool. sunset duel. Yes. That's uh -huh. a great idea. Yeah. It'll be so purple out until the blood runs through the streets. It ain't just a bourbon. It's a damn fistful.